Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here In today's video, I've got five autographs through the mail TTMs to show and I'm also going to open up the very last pack of the 2022 Topps Heritage. Um, as always, we'll start with some TTMs. The first one is from Daniels, New Jersey. And we have got Steve Bye Bye Balboni. He signed one of one in 17 days. He had a career batting average of 229 with 181 home runs, 495 RBIs. He played 11 years, appeared in 960 games. He played from 81 to 93. He played with the Yankees, Royals, Mariners, and Rangers. And 85 was his best year when he hit 36 home runs, knocked in 88, and he batted 243 that year. And he also helped lead the Kansas City Royals to a World Series that year. It was 1985. <clears throat> and again, that is Steve Bye Bye Balboni. All right, our second return, Phoenix, Arizona. And we have got Dave Revering. He signed three of three in 13 days. He had a career batting average of 265 with 62 home runs, 234 RBIs. He played five years, appeared in 557 games. He played from 78 to 82. And he played with Oakland, the Yankees, Blue Jays, and Mariners. His best year was in 1979 when he hit 19 home runs, knocked in 77. And batted 288. This is Dave Revering. Our third return is from Metroplex, Michigan. We have got Frank Tanana. He signed three of three in 13 days. He had a career record of 240 and 236 with a 3.66 ERA. He played 21 years, appeared in 638, 638 games. He played from 73 to 93. And he played with California, Boston, Texas, Detroit, the Yankees, and the Mets. He was an all-star in 76, 77, and 78. Um, 76 was his best year when he went 19 and 10 with a 2.43 ERA. Um, he won the ERA title with 2.54 in 1977. And three times he finished in the top three, top 10 in the Cy Young voting. Again, that is Frank Tanana. And as customary with Mr. Tanana, he included this uh, pamphlet. Some reading material there. And he used to, he used to sign each of these, but these are these are photocopied now. All right, let's open up this our last remaining heritage pack. We're hoping for something good. This entire box has not been very good. I don't think we've gotten anything really any good out of it. So we're due. We have got Josh Lowe. We have Mr. Robbie Grossman. We have Brian Reynolds. Max Kepler. Cedric Mullins, there's a good one. We have Reggie Jackson career highlights, comic strip. 
I have never seen that before. I don't know how how rare those are. Do not know. We have Cody Bellinger. We have boyhood photos of the stars, Mike Trout. We have Mr. Eugenio Suarez. And that is it. So I'll have to look up that Reggie Jackson card, see if it's any good. Something tells me it's not, but we shall see. All right, our next return is from Santa Barbara, California. And we have got Jim Colburn. He's signed three of three in eight days. He had a career record of 83 and 88 with a 3.80 ERA. He played 10 years, appeared in 301 games. He played from 69 to 78. And he played with the Cubs, Brewers, Royals, and Mariners. He was an all-star in 73. And that year he went 20 and 12 with a 3.18 ERA. And he finished sixth in the Cy Young voting. That is Jim Colburn. All right, and our last return is from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And we have got Mr. Ron Gedry. He signed one of one in 10 days. He had a career record of 170 and 91 with a 3.29 ERA. He played 14 years. He appeared in 368 games. He played from 75 to 88. He played his entire career with the New York Yankees. He was a four-time All-Star. Um, he led the league in wins two times. He led the league in ERA two times. He was a 20-game winner three times. Uh, 1978 was his best year. And that year he went 25-3 and three with a 1.74 ERA. Um, he won the Cy Young that year easily as he received every, every first place vote. Um, he finished in the uh, top seven of the Cy Young voting six times. And if his pitching wasn't good enough, he was also a five-time Gold Glover. That is Ron Louisiana Lightning Gidry. And he is a strict one per. Also, Steve Balboni is a strict one per. Um, they do not charge. So if you want their autograph, send them a card and they'll sign it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Please hit that like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.